Okay. Oh. Hi. Hi. Who Mike. are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> That's a lie. Why do I say that? <laughs> <laughs> no. My glass is half full, not half empty. Here, try to put the mic a little, a little close. Not that close, but you know, pretend yes. you're like uh, William F. Buckley Jr. or something. I get shocked. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, I'm getting older, and I'm feeling uh, physically uh, a little, uh, a little weak creakier. in the bones. I, yeah, as my mom used to say. It's no fun getting old. I'm not old, but I've got arthritis. I lost four inches in height in three years. Um, yeah, I've got bursitis, but I'm only 35, so wait. Are you, uh, how old are you? I'm 52. 52, so born. 17 years from now, I probably need a, a new hip. Really? Yeah, I was born in Boulder in 1948. Yeah. So you were born here. That's a good way. Born. That's a good place to start because uh, you're you're one of the few uh, lifetime residents of Boulder. My father was born here, and his mother was born here in 1879. She was born at Eighth and Pine, and my dad was born at 19th and Goss. Uh, my great grandfather came to uh, Golden in 18. 1860 into Boulder in about 1872 and opened up a bar on Pearl Street, rural Chicago and uh, Flaps, is Flaps still there? Uh, Flaps is now called the uh, pub. Anyway, it, it was that area and uh, he and his brother were the first Italian immigrants to Colorado. They were from the north, uh, Monte Bruno, Italy, uh, blue-eyed Italians and, uh, and uh, I guess uh, what we want to do is talk kind of about Boulder I guess and uh, the way things have changed I know they've changed for the bad but maybe uh, we could uh, I don't know get a personal history I mean has it all been bad is as far it, as it all gotten bad it's gotten bad has it all gotten bad or has it been so has it been some good did you see did, you know, in the 70s, you must have thought, hey, this is cool, this is great, it's... I think it's it's all bad. It's all bad? <laughs> all from the start? Well, you know, uh, the population has, has grown so rapidly that we're uh, experiencing future shock, I think. Uh, the computer age has sped things up to the point where there, it's a frenzy. People, people aren't responding. People don't respect other people nearly as much as they used to. It's nice venue, though. There's not the warm. Um, oh, look at that! <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, uh, Canyon Boulevard was Water Street, and the train used to come up the middle of the street, and. Uh, at Broadway, there would be those cross arms. Often you'd have to wait at Broadway uh, to let the train go by. And uh, the freight station is, uh, was on Canyon and Broadway on the northwest corner. And, uh, so this was, uh, this was in the 50s? This was in the 50s, and uh, there was a grain elevator with a, che you know, a Purina checkerboard. Uh, on it at, uh, where was that, 11th and Pine, somewhere, around, no, 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 11th and Walnut, I think, but uh, anyway, we had parades, we had powwow parades, and hold on to that mic, too. sure, I see, just keep talking, <laughs> you know, my father was a doctor, and uh, he loved delivering babies, and he delivered a lot of babies uh, between 1932 and his death in 1960. Um, and every time we would come downtown, you would see someone you know. And, you know, it, it would be uh, 
it would be just so casual and things have gotten so fast money and profit and growth is so has it's it has us captive you know I I feel like I'm being uh, squeezed out of Boulder uh, well how come uh, well you own a home I mean you live right up on the hill well, I do yes I inherited the family home but there are other expenses too and uh, I tell you it's the attitude people have come in and they've brought the big city attitude with them um, uh, are you talking the students in general or more no, than the students I'm talking more of the business people the students too though the, the young people don't have the respect for another person's rights the, there's the compassion the, com, the level of compassion has uh, all but disappeared Okay. <laughs> I feel like a two-fisted. Uh... Oh, anyway, uh, I miss old Boulder, but it's 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 happening the way it has to happen, I think. And we're gonna learn. Do you, do you see any chance of them turning back the clock on growth at all? No, it's impossible. You know, uh, short, short of uh, a major war that would wipe out people and uh, civilization to some degree, it would. I feel. Are you leaving? No, I thought maybe you want to take a seat. You can have a conversation. See, this Miles. is my dear friend Rich. And. Uh, mm -hmm. My dear, dear friend. So what are we talking about? We're talking about Boulder, Old Boulder, and uh, the changes, and I, is there any good to it? Well, I mean, uh, I don't think it's done any good for anybody except the rich people. I mean, it's pretty, I mean, what, the, the heart and soul has been ripped out of this town, <laughs> it has. right? It has. Um, it's a shadow of its former self, and... Uh, I mean, all these people that thought this was such a cool place to come to pretty much pushed the element that made this town cool in the first place out by jacking up the well, rents and bringing they, in their, their expensive, it, fluffy businesses. They brought in their businesses and, and yeah. their money. Mm -hmm. And money is power. And not I, I hate to paint with a broad brush, but the rich generally have an attitude you know, and stick with the rich and the lower class. Uh, is not thought about. Uh, it's a young, it's a young person's town. When I was a boy, you know, the college kids were the main. The university was the main industry, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to think, oh, look at these. Students, I'll, I'll never be able to to uh, be that smart. And, uh, mm -hmm. You know, I used to, I was intimidated by, and now they're kids and they're uh, <laughs> they're, I, they're they're brats. And they're, they are, and they're rich brats. And I, I don't think that a lot of college towns, college, the college itself makes the town. A liberal or progressive or whatever place but CU most of the kids that go to CU are rich kids and in 10 years ago or so you know it was it, it was the people that lived here in Boulder that made it a special place not because there was a, a school here that's right um, and um, when my grandmother graduated from CU there were 200 200 students and, uh, Wow. 
and you can barely even afford to live here anymore. Yes. And, and, and that sucks, and it's sad. And there's these condos across the street, right over there, that are four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I know. And and you know, I I don't want to like I don't want to make it seem like I'm a social or a communist or whatever, but I mean it's just not right. We have the right to be here, and we have the right to live here, and not have to pay half of our wage in order to live here. Right. And I mean, there was such a great music scene here, and art scene, and you know, you know, oh, yeah. you. Um, and, and it's been ripped right out of this town, you know? And, and, and here are these people, they've moved into this town and they think it's so cool and hip and everything like that. And it's, it's, it really isn't anymore. They're just here and everything that was here when the, the first wave of them came to make them think it was cool. It's gone. It's gone completely. And, and now the people that come here aren't even aware of, of what a wonderful place it was. And it's never gonna be that again. It's still beautiful and it's still a great place to live oh, and yeah. there's still a lot of great people here and Penny Lane is oh, a fucking great place and when this place closes I swear to God I'm out of here you know well where the fuck else are we gonna go you know to where are we gonna go to meet our our friends every day you know Starbucks you know or or the Trident they <laughs> fucking suck that's too right. the mon pa business gone you everything know, money money dictates and it's the same with every level of government and uh it's it's sad it's you know the president bush you know there's an energy crisis yes he he was in the oil business and uh and you can't tell me that uh the fact that he had cronies in the oil business and uh the energy crisis it seems a little suspect that uh Oh, now we need to drill in the Arctic refuge and uh, or wherever the hell else. And alternative uh, energy sources ha has been abandoned for fossil fuel. Mm -hmm. And the technology is here now to. Uh, well, sure it is. Of course. I mean, that's a that's a, a whole other issue. The fucking world is dying, you know, around us, you know, but. I mean, more importantly, what's at hand, what we're talking about here is Boulder and Penny Lane, you know, in the last 20 years and, and what's happened to our town. And you and I were talking about it earlier. I'm tired of, of wasting energy. I mean, every time I talk to somebody that I've known for a long time, like you, that's been here for a really long time, inevitably the conversation turns to what happened to our fucking town, you know? And, and it makes me so sad and I'm so tired of fucking w of wasting energy on... I'm mourning over yeah, I know. it. I, I don't know what else to do anymore, you know? I, I, I go to rallies, I try to be active, you know, and stuff, and the, these, but it's theirs. These people that come are people, and I feel like we are one organism on this planet, and I need to give respect and love to each person. No, yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't see it that way at all. Well, we have to be, <coughs> we have to be an example of, of what we want others to be. I truly believe that. Uh, I have no respect at all for my landlord, you know, <laughs> and, and my boss, and for Porter's Bookstore, and for Jan Scott, if you see this, fuck you. Jan, Jan's a, um, well, Jan needs help, and he's, he, he's um, got but, his good side. But we're here to give props to Penny Lane, right? That that's 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 what we're doing, you know. And I grew up at Penny Lane, across the yeah, street, you know. Yeah, the and, last twenty years. And um, it's been a fucking great experience for me, you know. Isidore Million, uh, seventy. What is he? Seventy-five. Uh, I don't know. He's like older he, than dirt. He had, and he's a geol ex geologist, so <laughs> he knows about dirt. <laughs> but he had the the compassion and and. Uh, the, the insight to see the value in the alternative lifestyle. The, he did. The, the, uh, and also how to make a buck off it. <laughs> yeah, <for sure. laughs> but, but he sincerely yeah. care, cares about that. I love Isidore. He was like a father figure to me when I was younger, you know, just like a lot of other people, you know, especially over there, you know. I, he, I don't think he's as 
proactive as he used to be, but because he's older, probably. But, I mean, you remember how he used to be over there. I mean, he was involved in everyone's life, every day, asking everyone questions, you know, da-da-da, yelling at people and, you know, asking them about their drug abuse and asking about their relationships. He's not like that so much anymore. Right. But, of course, he's older, and we're all older, and... I am, I'm, I'm really grateful that, that Penny Lane was here, and I'm grateful that the community that surrounded Penny Lane helped nurture me. You were one of those people. And it's you for me. And, um, and um, without harping on it too much, man, I'm really sad that most of those people are gone because they can't afford to live here anymore, you know? Yes. But we're still here, and Penny Lane is still here, and there's still lots of beautiful people here. And... Um, there are. We still got each other and but some people hanging if, on. If these people that have changed Boulder and come to Boulder in mass, if only they could realize what what they have done and how it used to be. But if, those people could never realize because they've never had a community. Those people are all about me. Yeah, that's what. That's right. They, it's me, me, me. They don't have communities. They don't have tribes. They don't have, you know, anything like that. Those people know one 